Hey everyone, Corinne Henneberry here with the Red Carpet Report. Today we are at the NBC Comedy Press Junket. We are going to speak to the cast of Telenovela and Superstore. Amore, amore. How are you? How are you? Very well. Corinne. Corinne. From the Red Carpet Report. The Red Carpet Report. How Corinne. are you doing, I'm sir? Hey, baby. How are you doing? Very well. Congratulations on Telenovela. Tell me about this, ex this extremely fun project. I know you're playing a little bit of a villainy type bad guy. You look like that in real life. Thing. See, I always get. It's an easy cast. I just have to. But the minute I smile, I'm good. I mean, like, people go smile. You look warm and friendly, and now that I'm chatting with you, I get it. Um, it's funny because Eva based this role on me. She go, baby, you're always complaining about you're always getting the villain roles. She go, I would go, baby, I got a movie. What is it? I play the villain. <laughs> baby, I got another movie. What is it? I play the villain. I go. So I always wonder why can't I be Cameron Diaz's boyfriend someday? You know what I'm saying? Or Rachel McAdams' best friend? I don't know. Or you know, play uh, any of these romantic comedy. I think you gotta mirror. give that extra big smile. Like <laughs> <laughs> and go like this. That little like hey, mustache you. turn thing you do is a little too villain. How they that, that she made this role of me. How he longs for that opportunity, yet he gets being cast as the villain. But in real life, he's a sweetie. He's got a cat named Hugo, which is the best. It's a Persian white cat. He's always trying to show his skills about how he has a British accent, which I don't. Okay. My British accent is Acting, like baby. German. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. How he has all these skills, and he's an actor. And that's basically what uh, my role is. How does this role, I know you said bad guy after bad guy in um, a lot of your projects, but how does this role differ from your feature or your movie projects that you've worked on in the past? Oh, well, completely different. I mean, there's a dichotomy here because in, in, the, novela, in the novela, in the telenovela, I have to play both roles. Once I'm doing my villain roles in, in, the, in the movies, those are ruthless, you know, those are just, yeah, they have no no soul. These guys have no soul. And um, I'm actually got pretty good at those. <laughs> when my mom tells me, when your own mother tells me, you're a mean yeah, you know, that tells you, I guess that's the best compliment I can get. Can um, she not wait for telenovela? She cannot wait for telenovela. Did she get a sneak peek? Did she, are you? But the okay. thing is, here's the funny thing. My mom doesn't speak English, so it's phenomenal. She'll watch everything I do and then call my brother and say, what did he say? What did he say? Um, she's been watching every, all the, you know, I've been giving her little by little previews and she cannot wait, especially because it was because of her that I watched telenovelas as a kid. It was because of her. The foundation. I, Leave it up to moms to give us the foundation to our careers. Exactly. Well, congratulations. We're so excited. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to more videos, and be sure to tell us what show you're looking most forward to, telenovela or Superstore.